Good afternoon from Austria. It's quite windy here outside. And we, I continue to teach about financial release or prayer for prosperity. So, through in the name of Jesus, we can break all kind of poverty that is a sign in our life. Sometimes, really, we need to very careful why we are suffering of poverty why we are uh, we work so much but we never never have enough so we need to pray that god will bless us that he will release the blessing from heaven to our life so the blessing of the lord upon to all the people of god because this is what he said that he is a god of provider he is our jehovah jireh the god of provider so i am so blessed and happy to to encourage everyone that we are if we love god we are under his probation but we need also to to recognize what caused us what make us suffering from poverty so we need to have deliverance about it this is one of my my teaching about financial breakthrough in our life that we are satisfying of what we have not not really uh, we have enough that more than enough that we can share to others so i am i am here to continue the message of financial release in our life blessing to release blessing in our life so in second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 jesus you become poor that through your poverty i might be rich so jesus paid the price for 2000 years ago of our poverty we need to understand that that the poorness the poverty that many people are suffering especially in this pandemic time cannot uh it's not for us and i experienced that now in during the pandemic that since the pandemic started until now god is really my provider and not only for me to my whole family and during the pandemic i never never imagined to help so many people but i am not making myself proud I really, I am able to help those who are chemo in chemotherapy, those who are sick with cancerous, uh, cancer and to help them medication. Some are, I help for food for old people and this is about uh, the glory of God, not my glory. But it is because our God is our God of provider. My own strength is, is nothing and i am satisfied if if i can see if i can do my part for those really who need it those who really need it there are people that is not really needing to be helped because they are abusing their 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 money they are young and they have potential to 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 work so when i see something like that and suffering from 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 not controlling their money so i i have no really have no pity for that kind of person they need to know how to make uh, to to spend money pro uh, in a proper way especially in this time so <clears throat> we need also to pray that god will uh, bless us And bring us the prosperity. So, I continue to 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 read now in Genesis chapter thirty nine verse two. Through your favor, I will be a prosperous person. Lord, you have called me, and you will make my way prosperous. Isaiah forty eight fifteen. I pray in secret, Lord, and you reward me openly. So, Lord, release your wealth. And 
and to my hand. Proverbs 13, 22. Lord, bring me into a wealthy place. So, we need also to pray that God will bring us to a place that is give us uh, opportunity. For example, I, I read so many so many great men and women of God in the Bible. One of the best example is Naomi, uh, dot, a daughter-in-law that wrote. Ruth was uh, uh, came from Moab and Naomi is uh, going there because she's uh, in Israel was having a poverty and then she was going there with her whole family but sad to say that her husband died, her two sons died the remaining only the, the Naomi, the mother and the, her two uh, daughter-in-law and one is uh, the, the, the both in the beginning willing to return with her to her land but the only one really go through is Ruth. Ruth is and then Naomi really bring Ruth together uh, back to her land and then at that short time she was able to to marry a rich man and that is the she is the great great grandmother of Jesus Ruth so we need to have a right place for our life and for example also the Queen Easter story. This is one of my favorite story. That really, she was a uh, orphan's child, and her uncle, the one who put her to the palace, which is uh, the king need a wife because her her wife was a very rebellious wife. She don't want to 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 come to the feast of the king. So in return. She was abolished in her position being a queen. So the king need a new queen and her uncle Mordecai, the one who put her to the place. So we need really to, we see that there are places that we are supposed not there because we never prosper. And there are some places that God will put us there to prosper. So in my case, I came from Philippines and I, um, really thankful and uh, and grateful that god i understand the message of a, of the right place so i was young when i understand this and i pray lord bring me to the place which is really my place where you can use me with with everything so i am thankful that god really have answered my prayer and since 23 years, I'm here in Austria, and I see really that Austria is a place for me because not even he is the God or provider for me here in Austria. He is also uh, using me in any kind of way to reach people, to bring them to the Lord. So I am most now, I am trying to reach mostly older people and many people even come to me even I don't know them because of the recommendation and then yeah I'm preaching the word of God I pray deliverance I pray healing and many things that is really 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 amazing that God used me in this place in Linz so I'm thankful for it so pray for the right place for you so and also here the one of the secret of a blessing financial blessing to release in our life is to give in Luke chapter 6 38 uh, I give and it is given to me good measure praise down shaken together and running over so Luke 6 38 and then in Malachi 3 10 he said uh, open the floodgates of heaven over my life and I receive more than I have enough room to receive. So Haggai 1 6, let every hole in my bag be closed in the name of Jesus. We need to close everything that flow our finances. Especially we close all that 
in Philippines, our, our medical system is all expensive. Not like in Austria, that is not so much to pay. But as being a Filipino, we are very, we have this kind of heart to help to our loved ones, even our acquaintance only, even not our uh, our neighbors, if they are in very bad situation of sickness, we are willing to help them. So, we need to pray that they are in a good condition because whether, I'll, whether we like it or not, if we are a giver, we cannot say no. So, I always say, really, Lord, I pray for a good health for my family, to all my loved ones there in my home. So, I pray also that God is really showering me a blessing upon in my life. In Ezekiel 34, 26, let your showers of blessing come upon my life. Let my baths overflow, Joel 2.24. Let my barns be filled with plenty and my uh, praises burst with new wines, Proverbs 3, verse 10. So, in Deuteronomy 28.8, I command your blessing upon my storehouse. Lord, fill up my storehouse with your blessing. You can see like that. Fill up my storehouse with your goodness so this is very important and in psalms 81 16 let me be filled with honey and the finest of of wit of wit so let me in psalm uh, exodus 3 8 lead, lead me into the land flowing with milk and honey Bring me into a good land without scarceness and luck. Deuteronomy 8.9 So you see how very important the place, the land where we are. And we can see it everywhere that where the land are, are scarceness and more poverty and more chaos. Everybody want to go away from that place. So this is very important to pray which really land. I can be prosperous wherever I am going with when God said I must go to the desert. So I gonna go there because I know where I am going that God is with me and prospering me. So this is this is really important because you can come in Austria but you are in poverty. There are so many people also here in Austria is suffering from poverty because maybe this is not the land that prepare for them. So we really know the place. We really ask God the right place. This is important. And then Psalms 23 verse 5. Anoint my head with oil and let my cup run over. So Second Chronicles 18.1. Let me have riches and honor in abundance, Lord. This is important also. In Proverbs 8. Ethan, I receive riches and honor, durable uh, riches and righteousness. Psalms 81, 16, bring honey out of the rock for me. Let me eat the finest of wheat. Psalms 147, 14. So... This is important. Let me lay up gold as dust. Job 22-24. Let me have plenty of silver. Job 28-1. Let your river lead me to gold. Genesis 2-11-12. Let me inherit the land. Psalms 37-29. I refuse to allow the angel of blessing to depart without blessing me. So this is releasing blessing. And... Now we are, I stop to this topic and I go to another topic about prayer for healing and health. So as I pray really that God will bless you. So I, I end up in prayer. Our Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, Holy Ghost, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us your word that 
you die for 2000 years ago because you want not not only to save us but to release us a blessing that belongs to us so thank you jesus that you love us so much and thank you that we receive all the 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 blessing that you have paid with uh, you have paid with your holy blood thank you that you are the god who is able to bless us abundantly especially in our finances thank you lord to bring us to the land where we have the increase thank you to bring us in a rich land god show your people to to know which land they will be staying and which land they will gonna be established their their life oh god so father i pray for your wisdom to each and every one of us to have the anointing of discerning so lord I thank you na the the way you 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 guide me guide them also because what I know that you are a God who answer every prayers everything that we ask oh God you will answer so I thank you so much that no one can stop the blessing to your people that through this message oh God they are able to receive the blessing that belong to them that no enemy can take away that blessing no one, no one can take away their financial blessing that came from you so thank you for all the favor thank you for all the the great blessing that you have already prepared for you for us oh god we are we are so grateful i'm so grateful lord jesus for all you've done for 2000 years ago thank you so much and thank you for all you've done i bless your holy name in jesus name i pray amen